I'm Joni Brennan uh, from the Kintyre Initiative, where I'm the executive director. But in the real world, you know, we're often moving from context to context and kind of free and easy in what we do and kind of carrying our identities and switching them um, with ease. And so this, this concept of kind of permanence and, and heavy procedure for bits of security or process um, doesn't map very well to the to the real world and kind of how we operate as people. So that's a challenge to bind between people and devices and moving through these different contexts. So my name is Shraddha Chaplot and I'm a machine engineer at Cisco. Definitely, and there's no denying that security, the entire security landscape has completely changed. I mean, whereas before we worried about somebody, I mean, even still, we worry about somebody taking our identity or taking our information and getting um, access to our bank account and collecting all our money, what's going to happen is, and what you heard from uh, the headline is, for example, you could have somebody hack into your autonomous car, your driverless vehicle, and crash it, or somebody can take your phone, your mobile device, go into your kitchen app, and set your place on fire. I mean, these are wild ideas, but these are things that are very possible to happen, and hackers will do that. So it's not just a matter of your identity, it's a matter of your life. I'm Ingo, and I'm Ingo Friese, um, I'm with Deutsche Telekom. The interesting things in the Internet of Things is that even this real, this real living objects or subjects, or however you call it, the cows, um, can become virtual if you, if you put them some sensors and a, on a necklace or uh, so in, in order to try to con control their, their current um, place where are they situated or if hit their vital, their vital signs. So, um, and this is interesting. So things become, real things can become virtual and, and even virtual things you, you, you design on a computer can, with a drug 3D, 3D uh, printer, they become um, real. And so when you consider that there's a user behind almost every device, identity suddenly becomes a very important piece of the Internet of Things. And so this is not only from a, you know, perspective of I am not a thing and how do you respect me as a human behind a thing, um, but also from a business perspective in terms of you want users to be able to trust these new devices. The Internet of Things is so important to get right and technology for humanity is what IEEE is all about and injecting identity into the Internet of Things is key for IoT to be successful. So IEEE is just one of the most respected standard organizations in the world and, and IEEE has worked on so many different um, protocols that have happened throughout the age of the Internet and so on and so we're moving into IoT and it's, it's really important for um, organizations like IEEE to be part of it. IEEE is advancing technology for the benefit of humanity.